Hi everyone, Black Beauty NP here with another review. I am so excited about this one. So I, uh, I don't know how many of you are like this, but I am one person who doesn't like to exercise, but I like the results of exercising. So I just recently, um, uh, signed up for a membership at um, Planet Planet Fitness and because of busyness and just life I haven't been able to go so I was online um, either on Facebook or YouTube I think Facebook and I saw this here device that I'm going to leave you ta-da so this is the six pack EMS, right? And I want to try it. So I purchased it um, a few days ago and it came yesterday and I just opened it. Um, but as I'm like cutting through the packet, I'm like, oh my gosh, I should like walk you guys through the whole thing from start to finish, right? So I was like, let me stop cutting the package open and get here on YouTube, right? So. Um, I left my scissors over there, so I have to go get it. <sighs> yes, you guys. So as you see here, um, and if you have not looked at this before or seen the advertisement, this is supposed to give you abs. It's supposed to do the work for you, so you're not doing the push-ups and the whatever else you do to get abs. So I am so lazy when it comes to exercising and I am naturally built so like I have muscles from God above and not from anything that I do right but unless I like lose weight and I'm like really totally skinny you don't see any abs right so I wore a white shirt because of modesty I'm not one to like pick up my shirt um lift up my shirt so you guys could see so I'm sorry for that so it's not gonna be like as thorough as others would do it but Bear with me. I'm trying to keep track of the whole process. So this is, whew, I gotta like, let it go, <laughs> right? Um, so this is my stomach, right? As it is. So I don't know if there's too much light. Let's take the light off a little bit. So this is my, uh, I'm going sideways so you can see the little pouch here, right? So you see, I don't have any six packs. Okay, I gotta take this off of me. I don't know if that'll do any good. There we go, that's better. So this is how my stomach looks. I'm not obese, I'm not big. I've never been big. I gain weight every once in a while, and but I, you know, so like, yeah, this is my stomach, right? So it's, you don't see any six pack. I'm sorry, I'm trying to breathe, so, um, yeah, right, so I don't have love handles, I don't have any issues, but I want to see if it tones this here area of my stomach, right, because you see, yeah, I don't know, I don't know if it's going to work on me, I don't know if it's for, like, people who are obese or whatever, but I just wanted to show, um, where I'm starting from. And where I would like to go. I'm going to also do it on my thighs because they give um, another one. I'm going to cut it open right now. So here is what it came in. Right? It's empty. So it's a mobile gym. Beauty body. Okay, so that's what the box says. So when I opened it, I found these three... It, they look like remote controls to me, so I was like, what? Do I press it from afar? And then I saw the back has like two button holes, not button holes, but um, I don't know how I say them in English, but pression. Um, I don't know, they snap them on, you Americans. <laughs> Tell me what this is called. Okay. Um, so this is for the abs. Right, you see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm about to have a six pack, y'all. Right? Um, the back, so I cut it, I already cut it, like I told you. I was just cutting it when I told myself I should like do the whole thing for you guys. So here I put it out for the first time. Right? So you see, okay, the back here, it has like um 
I guess this is what helps it glue on your body. I'm a little skeptical about that because like, if I take it off after you sweating, I'm supposed to sweat, right? After I sweat, this might come off, but I don't know yet. So we'll see. So this is the front. So this is how I figured these things be clip on right here. So because this one has the back piece and that's the little other piece. <laughs> okay, so that's that. So that's for the abdomen. This here, they say like some of the um, commercials or advertisements that I've seen have said this is for the thigh and others have said this is for the arm. So I have rather toned arms already. Like I, I don't need any help in this area at all. Um, I don't do anything like I told you, but that's just how I am. I've always been like so turned off by my broad shoulders and arms. I remember when I was like in high school, I had like um, a Christmas play because I was Catholic at the time and I was going to be Eve, right? Because I came into the play really late so I didn't have time to like memorize the lines but they really wanted me to participate because they were just like cool like that, you know? And so they're like, oh, you could be Eve. You don't have to say anything. Just stand there and look cute, right? So. I had to buy a bodysuit, right? So it could look like I was nude. And I went, I got my bodysuit. And I wore like this nude colored skirt. Or was it green? I don't remember. But it was like the skirt was loose and this bodysuit was a bodysuit. And I remember when our dress rehearsal, I came out and the guys were like, Dang, girl, where'd you get these nuts? I was like, Yo, I was so traumatized. I was like, ever since then, I hated my figure. I hated my muscles. I hated my, like, it was just like too much. And now that I'm older, I realize it's a blessing. Everyone's trying to be toned and I don't need to do any work for it. But I remember prom, I didn't want to buy off shoulder dress or, you know, or spaghetti straps. Like I was always trying to cover up. I'm modest as it is just because of how I am and how I was brought up and like my conception in life about how a young lady should be. But being the way that I was kind of helped it out too because I just didn't want people to see my arms. But that's the long version of my saying, I don't need these for my arms, but I do need them for my thighs because I have some thick thighs, y'all. Oh my gosh, I should have worn something light for my thighs. I don't know, you can't see them because they're in black. But anyway, so I will be wearing them on my thighs because I want to tone my thighs up. And you know how you have, I have a body that's like a little, like even though I'm small and like I'm not obese, but like you, ha I have uh, move on. Like, you know how people walk and then you see their whole body dancing? Like that's kind of me. Like I imagine if I had like rolls of fat and whatever, it would just be jiggling all over the place. So that's what my thighs look like, I feel. I don't know what other people think. Some people think I look good or whatever, but you know, you never, you're never, ugh, you're never satisfied with what God gives you. So therefore, I am going to be using these for my thighs, okay? So, uh, here we go. I'm gonna cut this little piece right here so you can see what it looks like. So here it is, okay? So I'm gonna, like, I, I imagine it would go like this. I have no idea, y'all. But I'll, um, this is, so there's one, two, and a third one which I'm gonna cut off. I don't think you need scissors actually. Yeah, you didn't. Okay, so you don't need scissors. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so there you have it. This is the second piece. And so they each have this here and the back of each of these have those so they attach. Okay, so that is that. That's the trash. Okay, so here it says start fat burner. So here's a picture. Okay, the man and the woman, right? His abs and her arms. I guess she doesn't need a six pack. I don't know. Anyway, so so the caution says, please keep and read, okay, for before using the carrying items 
hereby is recorded necessary important content for safety. This notice divides into three classes when you make a mistake with handling and using. Okay, so I, I see warning, right? So warning here says content that include the possibility of fatality. Ah, okay. Fatality means death. Just saying. Another caution, content that include the possibility of bodily injury or property damage. Okay, more. So danger, that was the two warnings. Now this is danger. Prohibition to person who are using medical treatment like below. So you cannot use this if you are using these things. The pulse adjustment machine is for medical treatment by electronic and etc that insert into body so you can't use anything that's inserted into the body okay the artificial heart is for medical treatment um electronic that um and etc that maintains living so you can't use it if you have pulse adjusting machines if you have artificial if you have an artificial heart or if you have an electrocardiograph is for medical treatment for electronic machine etc that that are by pace so i guess if you have used the paste for the electrocardiograph. You know how that little paste helps them uh, see inside? I guess, I don't know, y'all, I'm not sure. But electro, the way it writes it, it tells you what the thing is for, but it doesn't tell you exactly what it's prohibiting. So I'm assuming it's prohibiting use of this machine if you on a pulse adjusting machine, if you have an artificial heart or if you are using an EKG, because I'm a nurse, so I know you don't have an EKG on your body, electrocardiograph, EKG, ECG, but you know. So I guess the paste, but there's no paste that goes with the machine. It's like a little, little sticky thing for the 12 leads, whatever. Maybe this person's not too technical or medical. They don't probably know everything. But anyway, it doesn't matter. If you have those things or come in contact with those things, don't use it. So I guess if you have, okay, if you are going to do an ECG or EKG, do not put this on your body. That makes sense. Okay. So what is low frequency treatment? So our body occurs a lowest electricity, which we can not feel, but it is, but it is get sensitiveness action by outside electronic Okay, whoever wrote this does not speak English, which takes several changes on body. By body character, lead body takes a minimum electricity on special part of body. To exercise muscular by impetus, does that mean impulse? For relieving fatigue and dissolution stress. So, relieving symptoms for tightening shoulders, waist, and back, betterment of muscle paralysis, massage effects, betterment of diet. So this is what this is supposedly good for. So let's jump to the um, how to use it, how to operate so you could turn this on and off. It shows you the on and off, the increase, the decrease, and the program switch. So lamp for mode modification. So it has like four little... Um, light indications it says one two three and four so negative one negative mm, mm. so I guess it's a b c d e and f so it shows you like how much one two three four one two three four okay it's a little weird the way they describe it but apparently the different modes you can have a light one on or light two or light one and two or light three or light four or light three and four so apparently that's how the different modes are okay um how to use the pad always wash the area of your body where you intend to use the adhesive gel pads okay so put pull the pads off the vinyl cover by gripping the pads um, attach the other adhesive gel pad to a desired part of the body, arm, shoulder. Okay, another caution, um, don't attach it with power on. That's smart. 
um, because for shocking because of shocking and number two don't touch attach side of adhesive pad it makes decreasing using time all right so you're not supposed to touch the sticky part right because obviously you'll get glue I mean glue um, debris on the glue part and then it won't last very long okay process for operation take out the equipment from the case obviously please start it with at or at with at this English wow um, lowest output when it is beginning number two place the gel pad at desired area of the body please push switch for power on choose mode adjust for output level working time is 12 minutes per one to push switch for off or decrease button until um, let lamp off when it doesn't act during in working time oh my gosh you guys this person who wrote this thing how to use um, an effective the low frequency is suitable for 12 minutes one time two to three times a day if used in a long time or feel harder than imputis then you will feel tired at moment it's able to avoid 30 minutes after dinner and favor to be after shower or warm so don't use it 30 minutes after dinner avoid and or you should use it after you shower or warm wash I'm um, taking care after use please turn off button turn off power after using please separate a C adhesive pad from machine so this is the machine I'm assuming so you have to take this off of that okay take this off of this when you're done okay please attach adhesive pad to pad holder to prevent adhesive pa pad from drying so I'm assuming we don't throw this out don't throw this out because you're going to have to reattach it to something that's smart thank goodness they said that because I might have thrown it out the dirty point etc on case should be cleaned by wet cloth by natural cleaning material and wipe it um, with dry cloth again don't keep in sunshine hot temperature and humidity wet and dust place closer fire or shocking place to keep it by children who cannot touch don't touch during battery terminal with wet hand drying battery if doesn't use it for a long time please separate battery battery from machine and store it in other place you know what I think I think this is like from China or something or some other foreign country and they wrote it in their language and then whoever was packaging it for an American use or place or whatever they just translated it and the translation is just so bad because it's computerized and so yeah I think that's what it was main machine the dirty point etc on the case is cleaned by wet cloth by natural cleaning we already said that do not keep it in high or low temperature we said that adhesive pads you will fell uncomfortable if the pasting side of the adhesive pad gets dirty or paste power is getting weak okay change the batteries just place open the cover etc etc so that's easy okay so that is the directions you could have probably read the directions by yourself i am sure but just in case you know you can't read i don't know i'm trying to help you out i'm kidding i just wanted to read it before i put it on i could have done that off camera mm. well i am going to get off camera now so that i can put it on and come back and we'll see how it works i hope i have batteries for this so here's where the batteries go eh, if i could take this off Ta -da! okay it takes two double a batteries okay so i will see you next time stay tuned for part two if you want to watch what comes after do subscribe give it a thumbs up 